What's up guys, my name is Asia, I am The Basic Christian, and today we're talking about the Bushido Remix. This is episode four of our Wives Are Weapons series. If you missed the first three episodes, I'll put them in the description for you, and I'll probably add some clips in here somewhere. And marriage looks just like that relationship between Jesus and the church. The husband leads, he protects, he lays his life down, he supplies, and in turn, that gives the wife capacity so she can be the helper that God created her to be. Marriage is a weapon for Christ. A helpmate is a weapon. A wife is a weapon. Let's get right into scripture. We're gonna go to Ephesians 5, verses 28 and 29. The Bible says, In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. All right, so in the first three episodes, we already laid the groundwork. Bushido means the way of the warrior, and that includes his sword care. And samurai means one who serves, and the katana is the wife. She's priceless. And Bushido teaches us that the samurai and the katana are one. The katana is an extension of the samurai himself. And in episode two, I mentioned the emperor's stamp. We're going back to 13th century Japan, which is the Edo era. The emperor's stamp elevated the katana's value. But here's the thing, the emperor was just a puppet. During that time in Japan, the real power was the military leader and the military head. He ran the entire country and he was known as the shogun. But here's the thing I'm coming back for on this fourth episode. There are people in your life that you have allowed to give you value, to assign a value to you, but they have no real power, they have no real authority, and they have no real say in who you are and what you were created to be. Their stamp on you means absolutely nothing. Jesus called you valuable. He calls you precious. You are made in the imago dei, which is the image of God. You are made in the very image of God himself. You have to stop letting humans assign your value. They have no idea who you are or what's inside of you. And I had to do another episode to this series because the Lord showed me that the samurai and the katana are one. And what would happen during that time in Bushido is if the sword was damaged, if it was broken, it would be an indicator that the samurai that was handling that sword had no honor. That samurai was a man with no honor. Now remember, Masamuna katanas were beautiful. They were stitched beautifully, they were hand carved, they were works of art. They were priceless. And so were you. God created you to be a work of art. He created you to be beautiful. He created you to be priceless. When you are in the wrong hands, your light is diminished. Your beauty is diminished. Your power is diminished. And some of y'all are in relationships that are literally robbing you of your outward beauty and attacking the light that God put inside of you. Now, I don't absolve anyone of their responsibility to stay healthy. That is our responsibility to take care of the temple that God gave us. But what I am saying is that it is impossible to stay mentally, physically, and spiritually healthy when you have put yourself into a position to be brought to your knees by a demon. You are a katana that is priceless, but you are in the hands of a samurai with no honor. And in our foundational scripture, the Bible says husbands should love their wives the way they love themselves. But some of these men and some of these women cannot love us appropriately because they don't love themselves. But the Bible says that he who loves his wife loves himself. So when your husband is out here being abusive to you, neglecting you, cheating on you, running you through the mud, talking to you like a dog, that man don't love you. That woman don't love you and they sure don't love themselves. And Ephesians 5.29 says they should care for their body, which is their wife, as Christ cared for the church. How did Christ care for the church? How did he show us that he cared? He fed the church. Remember the five loaves and the two fish? He fed 5,000 people off of that. He healed the church. Remember miraculous healings over and over and over. He delivered the church. Remember he pulled it out of bondage. He empowered the church. He gave it all power and authority and he died for it. He loved us so much that he gave his life up. And your God-given husband will do that for you too. God will give you a man that allows you to operate in your femininity and you don't have to boss up. You don't have to run things. You don't have to take care of everything because you're scared that someone else won't do it or that it would fail if you don't put your hands on it. And that's where you're going to thrive. That's where you're going to come alive. That's where you're going to run on all cylinders. When you wait for God's man, you can fully blossom under the strength of his leadership. 
And when a samurai holds his katana, it will be the strongest it's ever been. It will be the sharpest it's ever been. And it won't be damaged and won't be broken. Your physical, your emotional, and your mental state is likely a reflection of the value that you have allowed yourself to be assigned. And it's also an indicator of where you need to work on your relationship with Christ because no one in their right mind gives a priceless katana to a samurai with no honor. Jesus gave up his life for you. He called you his own. He called you valuable. He called you a royal priesthood. God gave you so much value. You were created with value in his image. But you have to wait for the man that God has for you. You have to wait for the one who's willing to see you as one with himself, willing to operate as one with you. Someone who's willing to care for you, who's willing to provide for you, someone who's willing to do life with you. So wait for the man that God has for you because Christ healed the church. He fed the church. He redeemed the church. He strengthened the church. And if marriage is a reflection of what Christ did for the church, when you wait for God's man, all of those things will happen for you too. So again, my name is Asia. I am the basic Christian. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I'm going to put the other three episodes for our wives, our weapon series down in the description, and I'll stick a card up here somewhere for you as well. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share. Drop a comment. Let me know how you like this series. I'm really enjoying doing it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.